Hello guys. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a basic working car in Roblox Studio. And I'll make sure to thoroughly explain everything so you can understand. Tick joint surfaces off, then go to the model tab and change the snap to parts to one stud. Then you can add in your part for your main chassis. You can build on it however you like. I just made a box, but make sure to retick joint surfaces so the parts don't fall apart. And only let go of the part in its position. If the white border shows up, that means the part has been welded to the other part. Then select your whole car and bring it up a couple studs and select all the pieces of your body and group them into one model called body. You can press Ctrl G to group selected parts into a model and you can hold Ctrl to select multiple parts or command on Mac. Insert four parts, select all of them by dragging, set their size to one by one by one and name them part A. Turn on joint surfaces and drag each part A onto the corners of the body. Select both the front parts, right click, then select duplicate, and use the move tool to move each part a couple studs out. Rename the new parts to Part B. Now we can add hinge constraints to parts A and B so we can steer later on. Go to the Model tab, then click the arrow below Create and select Hinge. Click on the top of Part B, then on the top of Part A. Do the same with the other side. Select both of the hinge constraints in the Explorer and rename them to Steering Constraint. Set the actuator type to Servo in the Properties, then leave all the other stuff as is. Now we can make the wheels. Click the arrow below part and select Cylinder. Insert three more cylinders so you have four. Select all the cylinders, change the material to rubber, and set the color to black. Set the size to one by four by four. Now turn the wheels sideways because, well, wheels roll on their side. Drag each wheel to the positions, one stud away from the part B or part A. Make sure they are perfectly aligned. Now we add hinge constraints to the wheels to motorize them. Select Hinge from the Create button, click on the middle of the wheel, then the middle of Part A slash B. You can click Constraint Details next to the Create button to make sure the wheels are aligned correctly. My rear right wheel wasn't aligned right, so I fixed that. Now select all four of the new hinge constraints and rename them to wheel constraint. Then in the properties, set the actuator type to motor. And make sure to rename the wheels to wheel. Right click into the sky, click insert object and search for vehicle seat. Select that and drag it into the car. Now group all of the wheels and their parts A and B's into their own models. Do as I do.
Name the models front left, front right, rear left, and rear right, depending on where they are. Now we can select all the pieces of our car and group it into one, big model called car. But we're not done just yet. Now we have to make a script so we can control the car from the driver's seat. Click the plus icon next to car and add a script. Write this code into the script. I don't feel like explaining how this code works in the video, so I'll put the explanation down in the description. I hope that's okay. I will also put the code in the description for copy and paste if you don't feel like writing it yourself. I forgot to do this earlier on, but we need to select all the parts A and B and tick can collide off, which will allow the wheels to turn. Now we can finally test drive our car. I hope you like this tutorial, and if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments. If this was helpful, please consider leaving a like.